Yeah, we just about heard Rolf in the end. A great uh, crowd in, as you would expect, for a big night here. Because some of the players have already played a match, Robertson and Wilson, for instance, this morning. Trump, of course, has played all his matches so far on the main table. He knows he'll have to play well tonight. Tep Chai is a very, very dangerous opponent. Your break. OK. Thank you. First frame. Judd Trump against Judd Tepchara, Trump new for a place in the quarterfinals of the German Masters. A packed temper drum here. Judd Trump playing his fourth match of the week on the main table. It's been uh, a mixed bag, really. He had a couple of centuries against Lucas Kleckers, who did struggle, the local man, in round one. It was a bit of a struggle against Matthew Stevens, but uh, last night he was certainly the stronger of the two against Matt Selt. And Tepchara, new coming on to the main table. He's beaten Zhang Ander. That was a good win, of course, one of the players of the season and also Jamie Clark. The head-to-head -head favours Trump six wins to one, but it was Tepchari who won that match on a respot, quarterfinals of the Scottish Open last season as he knocks in the first ball. You're never quite sure what you're going to get with him. He's uh, a bit erratic, fantastic talent, but if it's not working, it really isn't working. So we'll see which Tepchari knew we get tonight. I know uh, myself and Alan are looking forward to finding out. Oh, can't wait for this match. There's a real buzz in the tempo drum tonight. <laughs> Tip Chaya. Oh, that is so unfortunate. I mean, I thought for a, a, a split second that he was going to play a safety shot. <laughs> wow, that was unlucky. Great long red. Even better black, actually. And, uh, yeah, that's so unlucky. So Judd can get about his business. Needless to say, it's going to be an open match, so it's going to be about who takes their chances. Of course, Trump, well, we'll see this shot again from... I mean, it's horrible what's happened there, isn't it? It's a great pot, actually. He was nicely on the next red. The red's gone in. Yeah, it's going to be who takes their chances. Trump's Nine. had four centuries this week. He's had 61 this season, so... Tep Charan knew well aware of his score and power. He was hoping to just lay down a mark of his own there in frame one. Let's see if he gets back to the table. Fifteen. Yeah, I don't know, but I think part of the trouble that Tip Chaya might have against Judd Trump, I know he doesn't have 20. a great record against them, is Judd will enjoy playing against Tip Chaya. He knows he's going to get the odd chance without 21. having to work for it. Uh, I agree with Dave, it's going to be wide open, all action. And one little extra motivation for Trump tonight. He may not be aware of this, but if he wins, he will win that Bet Victor European bonus. The only man who could stop him is John Higgins, but Higgins is way behind in terms of the order of merit, he would have to win this and the Welsh. If he, if Trump wins tonight, he's too far clear. 150,000, that is. 28. OK, now into the pack of reds. That one that's loose at the bottom might help him. If he can get it half ball. Hmm, played a... More of a circumspect 35. cannon, but no joy this time. Yeah, it was the, hitting the end red. It was like hitting a, a brick wall in a way, wasn't it? With no pace. So, back to bulk cushion time. Yes, and it's one of those matches where the safety's going to be important. They're both looking to attack, so... Need to be wary of not leaving any sort of chance. Trump, Trump, 35. Good night to have a ticket. Every night is actually here, but this is a fascinating evening 
The Wilson uh, Robertson match is really interesting as well. Both players looking to turn a bit of a corner this season. Well, he's negotiated that very nicely, actually. The winner of this match plays John Higgins, who beat Mark Allen this afternoon. Yeah, top quality. That safety shot doesn't play that many. Tip giant. That was a cracker. Got Judd on the back foot here. Reds everywhere. No obvious path back to Bulk. Excellent. Better than excellent, actually. Tenth ranking event Trump's played in this season. He's looking for his seventh quarter final. Of course, he's won three titles, been runner up in two of the ranking events, plus the champion of champions. the reason Judd played the safety shot rather than take on that red <coughs> Tip Chaya has just attempted he kind of knew that Tip Chaya would be tempted and he looks sharp doesn't he Why? Judd he has done yes all season there's a real difference to him these days than perhaps the last couple of years <clears throat> yeah, he said it himself, and I completely agree. I think he, he gets better round by round in these tournaments. Quite often, he'll start slowly. We saw at the Crucible, he lost first round to Anthony McGill last year. Too slowly, he started, but invariably, he sort of works his way into Six. the events, and hence his great record of winning these tournaments. Tends to play his best snooker when he absolutely has to at the end. Yes, I actually think the most important frame, arguably, of Judge Trump's career was that decider against Tipchaya the year he was champion. At the Crucible, I took the liberty of watching it back about an hour ago. It was 14. quite something. That decider, 9 all at the Crucible. Tipchaya on 25 went into the Reds. They split everywhere. And he was unlucky on that occasion as well because the cue ball landed where the bulk line meets the side cushion. Colours all in the spots, 21. reds everywhere. But for that, Judd Trump wouldn't have been champion that year. 22. Yeah, there's a sort of alternative history out there, isn't it? Of, of snooker shots that might have gone the other way, like Willie Thorne potting that blue or even Steve potting that black. Anyway, we can only talk about what's actually happened. And Trump, of course, won the world title that year. He's won plenty since. 29. And he's won this frame already. 30. It really stung when he lost that respot in the Scottish Open because uh, he maybe wasn't having the best time of it in general then. He was losing a few matches that maybe pr prior to that had been winning. 37. But he's won all the others against Tep Char and New. In fact, he beat him just after that at the English Open. Cheeky double. Very cheeky, 38. as it turned out. Forty-five. 
46. Well, this cue ball is about to go on a, a grand tour. But the black's not in anyway. The frame's over. A swift start to what's likely to be a swift evening, no matter how many frames we have. Nine minutes, the opening frame. Judd Trump looking good already this evening, playing for a place in the quarterfinals of the German Masters and leading Thailand's speed king, Tepchara Nu, 1-0. Thursday night at the Tempodrome here in Tep Berlin. Tepchara Nu finds himself a frame behind to Judd Trump. They're playing for a place in the quarterfinals of this German Masters for Tepchara Nu. It would be a 13th ranking event quarterfinal for Trump, an 88th. <laughs> So the moral of the story tonight, get your break off absolutely welded to that bolt cushion. Same red dispatched by Judd as Chaya took care of in frame one. Lovely kiss on the brown too. Julian Bell, the referee, this evening. <clears throat> Julian Bell, the referee, this evening. So he, he played well, as well as he's had to, really, so far, but maybe just subconsciously he feels he needs to step it up this evening. How's he got there, here on the, uh, on the red? Didn't look like it. Yeah, the shoulders were slumped on the way around. And it going to be very tight. And if he has to bend it, it'll be with left hand side. So maybe off the far jaw. No, oh, good shot. 21. And beautifully controlled with the cue ball. This is the one area it's becoming quite a theme of the modern game and with these players so powerful going in with force knock a red in the odd time nothing you can do about that but plenty you can do about the shot itself played it nicely but no joy this time 26. Never say never, though. Ooh, what a pot again. Boy, you look sharp. He's what he's so good at, just recovering. I mean, he, he was a bit lucky, maybe, not to be on an, uh, an easier red, but just pot anything, basically. All those centuries he, he's made in his career, indeed, this season, they haven't all been necessarily, you know, cue ball on a string, because it never is, but... As I say, he just manages to recover. And now he's in a nice position again. Have to go into the Reds again soon, but already good signs for Trump tonight. 32.
39. Yeah, another recovery needed. Black only just dropped. 40. That's a clever shot, not playing on blue there. Because there's so many options from bulk colour. That's a fabulous shot as well. It's very difficult to judge that type of shot. Coming across the line of position. That's twice he's played that kind of shot. The pace has been superb. 45. So, you yeah, want a good piece of the pink this time. Half ball's no good. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. 52. Fifty-three. Yeah, the talent's there and all the potting and the shot making, we know that, that's what he does, but Something that I don't think we speak enough about with Judd Trump. His attitude, I think, is the best there is in the game. I mean, 58. his general attitude, I think, tournament to tournament. He, he won't, he's so hungry to win, a bit like the great Henry back in the day. And his attitude at the table 59. and in the chair is exemplary. He always looks hungry and up for it. Sixty-six. So this red for two nil. Yeah, he's 67. looking really good tonight. And as I say, in a way, that's a tribute to his opponent, who can be devastating himself. But to be devastating, you need to be in. <laughs> and Judd Trump has spent most of the night 74. at the table. Remember, it was uh, from his first shot in the frame. Seventy-five. So 962 career centuries. Now, the man he's playing tomorrow, John Higgins, he's just ahead of him on the all-time list. Of course, John's been playing longer, but he's five in front. <laughs> so the race is on to 1,000. 83. <clears throat> Eighty-nine. I was asking Judd recently about the thousandth century. Whenever it comes, asking him or sort of pleading with him, do save it for a big event. You know, a big occasion. He killed. He was a bit non-committal about it. Ninety-seven. But let's hope when it comes, and it will, fairly soon, that it is a huge occasion. Oh, this is superb. 98. Beautiful shot again. Well, what a terrific performance in this second frame. There is the black for his 62nd century of the season. He's miles in front of everyone else on that list. It just feels like something's clicked tonight. This is the sort of form that Trump displayed earlier in the season when he won those three ranking events back to back. 110. Well, what have you got for us with this brown? <clears throat> Doesn't matter, he's made the ton, Judd another Trump one for the list. 110 Trump. from Judd Trump, and in just 19 minutes, he's opened a 2 0 lead. Tep Charan knew, seeing that if he leaves any sort of pot on, he could be in serious trouble tonight. Judd Trump looking good already with five the target for place in the quarterfinals. Um, but not only that, he's dominated proceedings. Tepchan knew he potted his first ball, Thank didn't he? But three. since then, he's not Judd Trump to break. had a look-in. 
Trump dominated frame one, 110 in frame two. These matches can turn. I mean, the break-off shot in the, in the last frame was the key shot, really. Trump potted the long red, made the century. It can happen the other way round. Tepchar and New capable of doing similar. It's funny, that red that he's left, the same one right now and the one in frame one by Judd, albeit a better cue ball this time, it was the exact same red in the deciding frame of that crucible encounter in the decider at 9 all. Hmm. Jaya swept it in. Was unlucky on that occasion as he was in frame one tonight. Off he goes again. Now, what damage? He certainly left one to the far right corner, but not easy. He said he, he was a bit unlucky as well in that opening frame, but. Uh, when he knocked the red in pot in the black. But since then, you can see, sort of the concern, he was concerned there, have a left one, he sort of half, left a half chance. And middle of the pocket stuff one. from Trump. Very good. He's looking sharp tonight. Yeah, just looking at the crowd there. I think it was a good move by the governing Three. body to hold the top seeds over to the venue itself this year. You know, they only get... Yeah, they had the European Masters in, in Nuremberg, but they only get it as a once-a-year gig here in Berlin, obviously, and it gives them more chance to get a session like tonight with Trump and Kyron and Robbo and the other table. Yeah, funnily enough, one of the great nights actually is quarterfinals night, which traditionally they play all four matches on the Friday night. Of course, tomorrow there'll be more chance to see more of them because there'll be two in the afternoon, two at night. Nine. Trump, if he wins, will be playing John Higgins. That's uh, one to say, but if it happens. Ten. <laughs> A power stun with late screw in the cue ball, that was. To push even more reds into the open. Oh, look at this cue ball as well. <laughs> right, it's not 15. the most startling shot in the world, but it's what's going to happen on the back of it, you suspect. 16. He does, he's really looked better in two and a bit frames than... I've seen in a long time. Neil Robertson, a 2-0 up on Karen Wilson. So Robertson, who's been AWOL this season, and indeed for quite a bit of last, again, starting to put it together. 24. Joe Perry and Mark Davis, two real stalwarts of the tour, both beaten this morning. Both love the sport, don't they? And, you know, they got the night off, haven't they? Probably going home tomorrow, but where are they? They're in the arena watching <laughs> and having a good old chin wag. No doubt talking about the Arsenal. <laughs> 31. <laughs> 32. Yeah, so this time it's got to disturb again. That little V of reds, get in the middle of those. Brilliant shot. Once again, not absolutely perfect. He's going to have to... 39. Work the cue ball again in some way. Wonder if you play it right-handed. He's good with it, not the best, but pretty good. You can even play a power stun with the opposite hand. 40. Phew.
So he's developed everything 45. into a position not only to win the frame, but maybe with another century. The initial red he was left by Tep Chai, he wouldn't have, certainly wouldn't have called it a gimme, the red to the green pocket. Two balls away from a 3-0 lead. We haven't been going half an hour. Talk about Tep Chai being quick, but Trump has not hung around 65. either. Pretty devastating, this. 66. Yeah, I know it's still early, but I honestly don't think I've, I've seen his cue ball this immaculate in a two or three frame stretch than it has been tonight. It was devastating, actually. 15 seconds a shot. Yeah, and also and he lost a big final to Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's 4 up, wasn't he, at the World Grand Prix? Uh, but there was no sulking. Just accept it didn't 82. happen. We've got another tournament, this one. Get on with it. I'll come home with the trophy, is the attitude. And if he plays like this the rest of the week, he will do, I'm sure. 89. 90. Even there, immaculate cue ball. 90. So, obviously... He wants another century. This is the key 97. shot. Right along the rail. Beautiful. 98. Really was. Struck it perfectly. This is pretty sensational stuff tonight from Trump. An absolute exhibition of the highest quality snooker you'll see. Warmly appreciated by the Tempodrome crowd. 107. 110. 114. <clears throat> okay, so just a basic in and out of bulk back down for the black. 125. No problem. <laughs> well, ridiculous, really. Terrific. Terrific from Judge Trump. What a break. He's getting better, if anything, with every frame. 132, and he's fully in command. Back-to-back -back centuries to lead Tep Chara new 3-0. He needs just two more to reach the quarterfinals. What a performance. First priority is not leave one on from the break-off here coming up, because last time he sat out a century, and in frame three, Trump made a total four. clearance, 1-3-2. Tep Chara new to break. Chai. He hadn't left an easy red, but Trump knocked it in all the same, so 3-0, he's had so far a total of two and a half minutes table time because he was unlucky in frame one when he potted that black knocked a red in the middle he sort of didn't look as he went as he broke off there he went back to his seat almost didn't want to look at what happened what had happened
Yeah, he was right as well. Not to. Look at that. You know, it's frightening, honestly. It really is frightening. And they've got something about them, these guys, that, you know, the, some of the best players in history. Judd's one of them. And when they're playing like this, they, they just are able to sort of make miracles happen, it seems. Six. You know, that was a pretty good break off, in all honesty. Seven. I mean, the fact that his cue ball was again so pristine on that black, it gives him, he can do whatever he likes with this red. 14. Does he go power and get the cue ball back towards him? Or just build it? Just building it for now. 15. Just nudging another red into the open. He's got all the bases covered tonight. Yeah, poor old Tip Chaya again. He's just sort of sat helpless there. As I say, if he wins the match, Trump will land the 150,000 bet victor bonus. I might chip in a few quid myself, actually, because it's great viewing, isn't it? It really is. If he can keep going at this level. We saw Ronnie O'Sullivan, didn't we, against Ding at the World Grand Prix, produce that extraordinary display. 23. Yeah, good point, David. It is. It's, uh, it's three and a bit frames, but it's up there with that. It really is in terms of quality. I mean, we get numbers all the time, don't we? You know, two and three and four tons and the spin or things like that. It happens all the time, but it's the sheer quality of it. Thirty. Thirty-one. They are centre stage. Of course, there are three other tables: Neil Robertson, Tunnel upon Karen Wilson in uh, Tom Table Two. You can watch all four tables on Discovery Plus. Thirty-seven. Helps actually that he played with a shot with the rest. To reach it that bit easier. Thirty-eight. Innocent bystander at the moment, Tip Chaya. <laughs> yeah, one degree of angle, maybe 0.5 of an angle. And he somehow created it to get once again perfect on the red for the low black. Here we go then. Some sort of cannon. If this works out, it might be three on the spin. Tons. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. For once, he's gone half wrong. Fifty-nine. I don't know if he'd want to play that. He's actually very good with the rest. I don't think he would want to play this right-handed. Might be able to reach it. It's the first slightly loose positional shot he's played, and we're <laughs> three and a half frames in. Six. 
60. But he's back to perfect again. Here we go. Beautifully played, actually. Ah, not this time. Not this time. 67. Yeah, as you see, just needed to get on one there. Yeah, is he on one? <laughs> there you go, he was. So, 68. Frame over, barring snookers. Now, as you say, can he make another century? I know one thing, his brother Jack <coughs> won't have to say much to him at the interval, will he? <laughs> There's no sort of rousing speech needed. Maybe just where we're going for dinner in half an hour, because this has been an onslaught. Once again, Tep Chire there, all he did was break off. 74. Yeah, also, I think <laughs> it's a good point you make. Also, I don't think there'll be any well dones from Jack either. It'll be right, OK, good, let's go again. How's the split? Mm. Does he have the plan? <laughs> the thing is, 79 ain't enough. He wants to make another century. That's, that's his sort of mindset. He's going to try and make this, I think. And he has. 80. Well, you got to feel for Tep Chara New. Such a great talent. People love watching him, but he's been watching tonight. The pink stays oh, out. Trump. It'll annoy him, actually, but my oh, word, what a performance so far from Judd Trump. 98% pot success. He's had breaks of 110, 132, 80. He leads 4 0 within 36 minutes. It's been a wonderful display by the twice German Masters champion and Paul Tepchara Nu has barely had a look in. When they're returning 15 minutes, Trump needs one more to reach the quarterfinals. So Judge Trump and Tepchara Nu returning. Trump just one away from victory. Judge Trump four, Tepchara Nu nil. It really is four nil. Total points, Trump 410, Tepchara one. Trump's had two centuries, could have had a third, broke down on 80, missed that pink in frame four, but otherwise it's been really brilliant display. There you see the match time, just 36 minutes. Nine minute average frame time. I mean, we talk about Tep Chai being quick, and he is, but he's just barely had it looking so far tonight. Got to be careful here as well. Can't can't leave a red on here. Found the miss. Your Trump four. No problem with the line then. So minor adjustment shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. The fastest sure. uh, official best of nine was 44 minutes. Ronnie O'Sullivan in his first season in the Grand Prix qualifiers. <coughs> so don't think this will that'll be beaten here. Doesn't want to brush off it and leave a red on. Just about okay. Just about. There was an unofficial match as well. I say it wasn't officially timed, but it was sort of timed after the event. Tony Drago, won't surprise you, won that one in just 34 minutes. Well, he did leave a red on. Oh, my word, what a great pot. It's potting everything. <laughs> that was an astonishing shot. He actually, he stunned it in. Awkward bridging. Here's another. If this works out. Oh, not this time. Judge Trump, one. So can Tip Chaya somehow, somehow just get at the table for a couple of minutes? Not 
the easiest starter, half ball, half blind. Oh, nicely done. One. Yeah, 38 minutes since he potted that first ball, wasn't it? The long red and then the black, and then he potting the black, he knocked a red in the middle. Trying to get everything into play here. Make something happen. I mean, he absolutely deserved to be on something, didn't he? So this is a chance, and we know Eight. that he can do it as well. He can put the brakes together. He's feeling a bit battered and bruised, I'm sure, this evening. But he once uh, <coughs> made five centuries in a best of 11 in the UK Championship against Stephen Hendry. No less, so he can do it against the best. Nine. Fifteen. Yeah, that was clever getting rid of that red. So any of those two reds nearest the black gives him good access to get about his own business. But a wee bit of a decel there. So the cue ball has been lost fractionally. Twenty. He's got to steady himself here. Nice 21. 28. 29. So, but once it's Trump sitting in his seat. Sharon knew because he was briefly in the top 16 going back uh, 36. four years now but it was only a year later that he had to win a match to stay on the tour and the world qualifying so his form is quite erratic 37. but when he plays his best my word he's something special 44 45. Oh, lovely. Exactly as played. It's actually unfortunate to lose the cue ball near the side cushion. Oh, beautiful 53. again. Good response, this. Hasn't enjoyed any chip and dip of his own, but welcome to the party. Shire at long last. Well, not long, but at <laughs> last. <laughs> Foul. Would you believe it? Miss. Would you believe it? A miscue. Good Trump wow. Seven. Justice. Seven, no, the stage was set for him to win a frame and win it handsomely. Horrible. Of course, it is. Uh, well, it has to be a foul. He jumped over the black. Could have left an easier pot, I guess. But in it goes. Cue ball stays One. out. So this is a chance for Trump to win. And this really would rub it in, wouldn't it? If he could now, from that horrible miscue, clear up and win the match. Yeah, in a lot of ways, it was a, t a typical tip chaya break, wasn't it? You were never quite certain of how it was going to finish. We, we didn't suspect it would be on the end of a miscue, but uh, here we go then, Judd. They're all there for him. 
and the way he's played tonight. Seven. It'd be a big surprise if he doesn't clear. Yeah, and just a word on the bonus that he would win the 150,000. Last year, of course, he was settled at the Welsh Open. That is still the last event, but if he wins this match tonight, no one can catch him. So 50. it shows how he's dominated the events in that series. Yeah, well, horrible for Tepchar and New. Twenty-two. Yeah, Trump was runner-up in the European Masters. He won and Northern Ireland Opens, both part of the series. So he's always the big favourite to land the bonus. Right behind the red, where shouldn't be a problem with a pot. Decent position on black or pink. Thirty-nine. Which that is. And the brown being off the spot makes position on this yellow not a problem whatsoever. Couple of cushions. Oh, but the black goes astray. Joe Trump, 39. Well, that is a surprise, isn't it? That is amazing, really. The match was basically done, you felt. And he misses this. Overcut it. I'm so sure was sort of almost getting ready to collect his things there. Ready for the exit. Five. It's a little bit awkward. You saw him working on the tip as well after the miscue. Yeah. Nine. So he needs the blue, and it should be 4-1. Judd Trump had the chance to complete the whitewash. Overcut the black, though, from the last red, and Tip Chara knew maybe to his own surprise he's going to be going into another frame that'll annoy trump you know that he, he might win 5-1 but obviously it's less flawless then isn't it than a, than a five nil whitewash in about 45 minutes well the pinch stays on out so one snooker needed yeah, yeah on the he's frame. seen enough he'd be annoyed at that despite all the good play these top players set themselves very high standards and he had the chance to clear he didn't take it so Tep Charan New is on the scoreboard. Trump still, of course, a heavy favourite, though, to progress to a quarter-final meeting with John Higgins. He leads here 4-1 in Berlin. And the frame in the end. now little things are happening aren't they you know it's not the great break off with the red going down the table but he's not left it on <coughs> so it's under the snooker gods are saying well you didn't win that match there so a bit difficult for you maybe yeah, and also just the very fact that tip Chaya, tip Chaya switched sides with his break off there it, it sort of tells judd i'm still trying i'm still trying to think and create something and Throw a little spanner in your works. That's good. It's a good move to make. Yeah, I mean, 4 1 behind. He's massively up against it. But the only way you'll guarantee losing is by throwing in the towel mentally. So he hasn't done that. And that's good.
one. Good shot. I wasn't surprised he didn't plan for that snooker. Trump had just had enough of that frame. Get on with the next one. He's playing well in general. It's one slip up in an evening of brilliant snooker from him. He's still, of course, one frame away from victory. Worth saying as well, one of their meetings was in the World Open final back in 2019. The last time that was actually staged until this season. It's coming up in March. So we're looking forward to that one in Yushan. Trump's been uh, seeded through as defending champion. But Tep Char actually lost in the qualifiers. Joe Trump. Four. Yeah, Trump's pot success has, has plummeted to 96% now after a couple of misses. <laughs> Shows out what a standard he was playing at before. I know one thing, though. You don't want sort of 4-2. Suddenly your opponent starts feeling good. You never know what could happen then. One. This match really, he would feel, should have been over there. He had the chance, good chance to clear up. Tap one. Hey, oh, you see the snooker gods. <laughs> Didn't hit it well, did he? But the double kiss, white and behind the brown. Thank you very much. ball just sort of took a dive to the left as it went past the yellow more snooker gods we don't need proof that they exist David do they they do and that's final <laughs> yeah I think without getting too heavy about it any god if you believe in them exists and in snooker everyone believes in them because we've seen it happen and if you don't they'll punish you <laughs> Seems to be the way, doesn't it? <laughs> Not this time in behind the yellow. Ow. Mm. <laughs> Tip try room yeah, so. Quite comical that. I mean, Judd won't see the funny side of it because he's left a red. <clears throat> Just obviously playing the, the thinnest of contacts. So. chance here for Tep Chaya. Don't see him refusing the black. If it goes, you'd think he'd be bound to be on a red. So a big shot now. He plays this black. Thin cut. Very good. Eight. Sixteen. Seventeen. game isn't it because he was basically out wasn't he I mean he, he was out he miscued Trump was clearing up the way he played up to then you think he can't miss he did and since he missed that black in the previous frame and he was on nicely on the yellow I'm sure he would have put them, them away everything's gone wrong for Trump
32. Looking at it, have to disturb something at some point, even though he's building a nice lead. 41. The yeah, Elder Shreds at a premium, so perhaps almost try and miss them in the middle of them there. <coughs> uh, not this time. The yellow will loom large, 47. though. Nice target of a couple of cushions nestling behind it. Tip child, 47. time in the match Judd's marginally on the back foot as David said a 4-2 all of a sudden got a different feel about it this match is he going to press with this take the pot on he did and he should pay for it Eight. crowd maybe assumed that by now they'd just be watching the three side tables but not a bit of it Tep Char knew still in this nine and of course the speed he plays is capable of rattling frames off in no time at all still needs uh, another red after this black for four two Getting interesting, isn't it? It was kind of... We were right in the obituaries on this 16. match about 20 minutes ago. 70. Trump has sort of entered the twilight zone a little bit, hasn't he? Everything going wrong suddenly, when nothing had gone wrong before he missed that pot in the last 24. frame. 24. And, well... Getting interesting. 25. Just curious there, but I know the frame's gone, just that 32. shot you played, so no ill effects of the, the miscue earlier, so that's good. 33. Yeah, able to play a deep screw, no problem. I was worried you'd maybe do a little bit of damage to your tip, but no problems on that score. 40. Forty-one. Yeah, we shot times, Trump. Just a shade under sixteen seconds. Tep Charnu just a shade over. Forty-eight. Up. Forty-nine. Fifty-four. Good stuff from Tip Chai. You know he's, he's head didn't drop. He was ready to win that last frame when he 56. got the unexpected chance. Played a good one here. Made a nice break. Fifty-nine. Fifty-eight. 
Remember, coming back after the interval, he only scored one point in the first four 63. frames. 63. So a little bit suddenly for Trump to think about. Had the chance to win 5 0. But this match isn't done yet. And Tepchara knew he's coming to the party well and truly. Black Tepchara just stays new. out. But a, a dashing 74. That's a typical Tepchara new break that. Just three minutes it took to make it. And. Well, maybe we have a match on our hands after all. Judd Trump 4-0, had the chance to win 5-0, wasn't to be. Now it's 4-2. He's still far new to the other three Trump matches, all two each. But this one has got really interesting. It was 4-0, Trump was clearing up for 5-0. Didn't make the clearance. Everything went wrong in frame six for him. Tep Chai made a 74 break. So he's still got to get the job done. Still needs one more frame, not only to reach the quarterfinals and set up a meeting with John Higgins, but also to pocket the £150,000 Bet Victor bonus prize. Oh, I need to cover badly. Oh, he's got it. Has he got it in the straight red to corner? Well, the smile. I'm not quite well, it's uh, no, not good news for Tep Chaya fans, the red zone. So can he find a good piece of ball striking? Yes. One. Very good. Yeah, the, that sort of smile hit a lot of agony, didn't it? As he realised he left it on. So can Trump refocus? Get it won. The irony is, of course, he now has a chance to make another century. <laughs> but he just wants the match won. He wants to get to five, put this away, Eight. and focus and, and, and dwell on the good stuff tonight. And there's been plenty of that. Just an hour's playing time as well. It's been really speedy stuff. Nine. Jai's reaction. His long game actually against Matthew Stevens the other day. At one point he was zero from eight Trump, but tonight four out of five from distance. Thirteen. thinking there about trying to pinch the pocket. It's pretty much bolt straight, isn't it? So I don't think that would be advisable at the moment. Mid-range red, no problem usually for Judd. Eighteen. Well, that lady, uh, the clue is the tattoo on her arm. She's a big Judge Trump fan. Suddenly she's become a bit nail biting. I'm sure she was enjoying it earlier. But he has his chance. 26. Yeah, the ace is, uh, of course, his nickname is the ace in the pack. <laughs> 27. the red to far corner if he does 34 he's a lucky boy because that was not a good shot at all
That one was so. So back in prime position. He did well there, actually. He didn't want to show out any disappointment to Tip Jai and give him any encouragement. Just got on with it. And that was beautifully played. Christen there, just waiting for him. Mop them up. Probably another four red colours. Forty-three. He'll be through to play his old adversary, John Higgins. <clears throat> yeah, a couple of memorable matches already this season alone between those two semis uh, of the European Masters and, of course, the English Open when he came back to beat him from 5-2 down. That was the start of the great run of the three wins in a row. Always fascinating when they play each other. This was the recovery pot. 49. <laughs> well, he's just got to hope that something goes wrong, and of course it did in frame five. Fifty-seven. It's been a break as well, this so it's a steely resolve that you need the talent and the flair and the shot making and everything else is one thing 58 you're going to get asked plenty of questions as a professional snooker player and judge well used to that but he's come up with the answers big time in this crucial frame to get over the line at last he's there now shouldn't be a problem 65 well, it was a late rally he kind of knew didn't he when he'd left that red on he kind of thought yeah could be it. So Judd Trump then, this black is effectively worth £150,000 because barring snookers, he's won the match and he's won the Bet Victor European Series bonus as well. But of course, he's not just that ball. It's all the matches, the tournaments he's won this season that left him as the red-hot favourite coming to Berlin to win that bonus with a tournament to spare. The Welsh Open is not going to come into 74. it. Nobody can catch him now. And the irony of not closing it out earlier is he can now make a third century, which means he'd go through to play John Higgins in the quarterfinals and there'd only be two centuries between 81. them all time. 82. Eighty-seven. Eighty-eight. Well, absolutely no point dwelling on the old mistake. He's been sensational this evening, Trump. He's the best he's played by far all week. Ninety-four. Scintillating at times. And showing his mettle here to finish it off like this. 95. The blue then to complete victory with a third century. Magnificent from Judd Trump. 100. This is the sort of performance worthy of that bonus prize he's going to be collecting. And he's not done yet. Yeah, it's one of those statement performances, hasn't it, tonight? I mean, before the interval, as David said, he, he was, he was utterly breathtaking. Good on Tip Chaya for sticking in there as best he could, but in the end, Trump was just too strong. Twenty-two. The scenic route <laughs> for the pink. And for the black. 
128. What a talent, what a player, what a champion. What a finish, Judd Trump, 135, a total clearance to win it. It was such an entertaining contest. Tep Tires pretending he didn't want to get out of his seat. He played his part, he did put a bit of pressure on, but my word, Trump responded. Fantastic display of snooker, three centuries tonight to take his tally to 64. He's landed the Bet Victor European bonus as well of £150,000. And he's going to play John Higgins tomorrow in the quarterfinals, one not to be missed. It's always a great matchup. In fact, Higgins was saying in one of our interviews earlier in the season, it's his favourite match now to play Judd Trump. It's obviously a general. It's always a challenge, and Trump, as you can see, delighted.